Hello, and welcome to the first page. I'm T.S. Russell, and this is my good friend Bartholomew Bear. Today we'll be reading the first page of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe Chapter 1. Lucy Looks into a Wardrobe Once there were four children, whose names were Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy. This story is about something that happened to them when they were sent away from London during the war because of the air raids. They were sent to the house of an old professor who lived in the heart of the country, ten miles from the nearest railway station and two miles from the nearest post office. He had no wife, and he lived in a very large house with a housekeeper called Mrs. McCready and three servants. Their names were Ivy, Margaret, and Betty, but they do not come into the story much. He himself was a very old man with shaggy white hair, which grew over most of his face as well as on his head, and they liked him almost at once. But on the first evening, when he came out to meet them at the front door, he was so odd-looking that Lucy, who was the youngest, was a little afraid of him, and Edmund, who was the next youngest, wanted to laugh, and had to keep on pretending he was blowing his nose to hide it. As soon as they had said goodnight to the professor and gone upstairs on the first night, the boys came into the girls' room, and they all talked it over. "'We've fallen on our feet and no mistake,' said Peter. "'This is going to be perfectly splendid. That old chap will let us do anything we like.' "'I think he's an old dear,' said Susan. "'Oh, come off it,' said Edmund, who was tired and pretending not to be tired, which always made him bad-tempered. "'Don't go on talking like that.' "'Like what?' said Susan. "'And anyway, it's time you were in bed.' "'Trying to talk like mother,' said Edmund. And who are you to say when I'm to go to bed? Go to bed yourself. Hadn't we all better go to bed? said Lucy. There's sure to be a row if we're heard talking here. No, there won't, said Peter. I tell you, this is the sort of house where no one's going to mind what we do. Anyway, they won't hear us. It's about ten minutes' walk from here down to that dining room, and any amount of stairs and passages in between. What's that noise? said Lucy suddenly. It was a far larger house than she had ever been in before and the thought of all those long passages and rows of doors leading into empty rooms was beginning to make her feel a little creepy. "'It's only a bird, silly,' said Edmund. "'It's an owl,' said Peter. "'This is going to be a wonderful place for birds. I shall go to bed now. I say, let's go and explore tomorrow. You might find anything in a place like this. Did you see those mountains as we came along? And the woods? There might be eagles. There might be stags. There'll be hawks.' "'Badgers,' said Lucy. "'Foxes,' said Edmund. Rabbits, said Susan. But when the next morning came, there was a steady rain falling, so thick that when you looked out of the window, you could see neither the mountains nor the woods, nor even the stream in the garden. 